Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a optional bug fix C-release update that has rolled out for Windows 11 24H2. And the update rolled out late on Friday last week in my part of the world. And the update is optional, so you don't have to install it. And I always advise don't install these optional updates that rolled out near the end of the month because they are known to cause problems. Unless, obviously, you have an issue you need to be fixed on your PC. And this is more or less the same update I posted on when it rolled out uh, in the release preview channel just a couple of days ago and has made its way now to the stable channel. And if you do decide to install the update, if we head to our update history, the update is KB5055627. Now, this is quite a jam-packed update, and we have 14 new features most of which are rolling out for Copilot Plus PCs. And all the new features are rolling out gradually, according to Microsoft. So you may see them or you may not. That all depends, obviously, region-specific. But 14 new features and quite a lot of bug fixes. So all those fixes and features I'm going to mention now are all rolling out gradually. Now, first of all, Recall is back. And that's the controversial AR feature that takes system snapshots of your PC and um, with Microsoft saying that with the AR capabilities of Copilot Plus PCs, it's now possible to quickly find and get back to any app, website, image or document just by describing its content. To use Recall, you will need to opt in to save snapshots, which are images of your activity and enroll in Windows Hello to confirm your presence so only you can access your snapshots. Now, Microsoft did quite a lot of work on this in the Insider program after pulling it because it was rolled out prematurely and caused a lot of debate due to security and privacy reasons. So they have tweaked and adjusted this to some extent or the other with Microsoft saying that you are always in control of what snapshots are saved and can pause saving snapshots at any time, which previously was not the case. Recall, they say, will take regular snapshots and help you find things faster and easier when you need to find or get back to something you've done previously. Open Recall and authenticate with Windows Hello. So that's the controversial Recall, which has now made a comeback in Copilot Plus PCs. And another AR feature is called Click To Do, also rolling out for Copilot Plus PCs, with Microsoft saying that this feature makes it easier than ever before to take immediate action on whatever catches your eye on screen on your Copilot Plus PC. Because obviously Microsoft's focus now is pushing Copilot Plus PC, so that's where their focus is. And Microsoft says this saves you time by helping complete tasks in line and quickly getting you to the app that can best complete the job. So for an example, you can select an, an image using Click To Do to take actions like erasing objects with photos or remove the background using paint. And this is just an example of what's going on. And Microsoft says to do this, you would need to use the Windows key, mouse click or Windows key and Q. And another new feature rolling out for Click To Do on Copilot Plus PCs, Microsoft says Click To Do includes intelligent text actions where you can select a text block and then drag to select the text that you want. Microsoft says you will see options to summarize or to help you rewrite your text so it sounds more casual or more formal. And then there's another new feature for Click To Do. Microsoft says you can easily open Click To Do when you swipe from the rightmost edge of your display. And then another new feature, which they are terming a new feature, but they just say the policies for managing Click To Do in a commercial environment is now available, and that would be for RT admins. Now, while we are talking about Click To Do, although this is only rolling out for Copilot Plus PCs, I did notice something very interesting today after installing the update over the weekend. If I head to my system, system components, Click To Do is in the system components app list, and this is not a Copilot Plus PC. Now, it does nothing. It's only 80 kilobytes in size, and you cannot uninstall it, okay? There's no uninstall option, and there's, it's, nowhere, it's not in the start menu, and it's not found in the start menu or anywhere else. So very interesting, is Microsoft trying to sneak click to do onto normal PCs? I don't know, maybe this is a bug. Maybe it's just something that came down, kind of update channel, but nonetheless, click to do, that entry is available, although 
it does nothing. So that's going to be an interesting one to watch, and I'll keep my eye on that one for you guys. So that's click to do. Now the next is improved Windows search. Once again, for Copilot Plus PCs, with Microsoft saying that Windows search is now powered by semantic indexing models along with traditional lexical indexing, whether it's searching in File Explorer, in Windows search, on your taskbar, or in settings. You just type what's on your mind to find it on your Copilot Plus PC. You no longer need to remember, remember file names, exact words in file content or settings names. These improvements work even when you're not connected to the internet. And then we've got another new feature for improved Windows search, once again for Copilot Plus PCs, where Microsoft says you can now use your own words in the search box at the upper right corner of the File Explorer in addition to photos stored locally on your Copilot Plus PC, photos from the cloud will show up in the search results together. Exact matches for your keywords within the text of your cloud files will also show in the search results. So quite a lot going on for Copilot Plus PCs with this update. And then just to mention the next um, nar narrator, which is an accessibility feature, has a new feature called Speech Recap, where Microsoft says you can keep track of what narrator has spoken and access it for quick reference. With Speech Recap, you can quickly access spoken content, follow along with live transcription, and copy with what narrator last said. And I think that's a nice move when it comes to accessibility. And then Phone Link has a new feature. And we've spoken about this in depth on the channel. Remember, these features are rolling out gradually, so I'm not seeing this yet on my device, where you can now do even more on your Windows PC and your mobile device with direct access to cross-device features from the Start menu, which is also known as um, the Companion, Microsoft Companion. For example, Microsoft says you can make phone calls, SMS messages, access your photos, or share content between your mobile device and PC directly now from that co Companion um, in the start menu. And then widgets, where Microsoft says that web developers can use their existing content to create interactive widgets that can be added to multiple widget surfaces. And we have another new feature for widgets, which applies to the European Economic Area, where Microsoft says, if we just head into our personalization lock screen. Microsoft says that lock screen weather widget now supports customization, which is not the case outside of the EEA. And to configure your weather widget, you go to settings personalization lock screen as shown and select the customize widget option from the weather widget more options menu. And more widgets will be customizable in the future, which means you can choose your separate widgets and customize those accordingly to your own personal choice and preference where in other areas that is not the case. It's off, none, or you get the full package by clicking weather and more, as you may well know. And then the File Explorer, if we just head into that quickly and we head to the home page, there's new pivot-based curated views on File Explorer Home that supports ease of access of Microsoft 365 content on Windows. And then there is a fix for the File Explorer where Microsoft says this release includes increased support for the text scaling, which is found under settings, accessibility, text size across File Explorer, File Open, Save Dialogs, and the Copy Dialogs. And they've improved the performance of extracting zip files, particularly in the case where you're unzipping a large number of small files. And there's a fix for the address bar in File Explorer, which might unexpectedly not show a path after opening. So a couple of fixes rolling out there for the File Explorer. And there's a new feature for settings, which Microsoft once again says is only for Copilot Plus PCs, where you can manage which apps Windows recommends. And that will be part of the settings, apps, actions on Copilot Plus PCs. And there's a new feature for Windows Studio Effects, the Studio Effects automatic framing filter turns on after the initial use of the camera. If your PC supports Studio Effects and you have not used Studio Effects previously, and that's once again a Copilot Plus PC feature. 
And then we've got a couple of fixes rolling out gradually. The first two are for the start menu, where apparently you couldn't use touch gestures to view the list all apps uh, pinned in the start menu. That's been fixed. And there's a fix for the account manager sign out and more options buttons in the start menu account manager which might not be visible with increased text size that's also been fixed and then there's a fix for the taskbar where the underlines beneath the app icons in the taskbar may remain visible even after the apps have been closed so that's a bit of a ui tweak and then if you use the arrow keys after pressing the windows and t key to navigate through your different um taskbar icons and apps pinned to your taskbar the arrows move in the wrong direction for arabic and hebrew display languages that's been patched now here's one i'm happy to see it's for the desktop icons now i haven't received this yet but i have posted on this previously where the logic for apps pinned to the desktop has been updated so that packaged apps no longer show an accent colored backplate which as an example and um, most apps from the microsoft store currently on the desktop if I just show you this, I have posted on this previously, but just a quick recap. If I drag that to my desktop, we can see that's the solid colored backplate. Now with this fix, this will be almost like a transparent um, see-through color, which I think is a much better move in the right direction. So I'm happy to see that. And then there's a fix for external graphics cards connected over Thunderbolt might unexpectedly not be discoverable in some cases. That's been patched. And then there's a fix for Hyper-V Manager where it unexpectedly shows 0% CPU usage for virtual machines. Now those features and fixes are all rolling out gradually. Most of those new features, as mentioned, offer Copilot Plus PCs where Microsoft's focus, like what I hate it, is currently lying. And then there's a couple of normal rollout fixes and improvements, um, which I'm just going to mention a couple which you may be interested in where the first fix is a known issue, which is a blue screen of death, where the update resolves an issue observed after installing the April 2025 Windows Security Update and restarting the device. Affected devices encountered a blue screen exception with error code 0x18b indicating a secure kernel error. So that's a known issue that has been addressed. And there's a fix for the dynamic host configuration protocol which apparently the update addresses an issue affecting internet connectivity on devices after resuming from sleep mode where users might experience intermittent internet connections. And I think that's a nice improvement because there have been a couple of internet connectivity issues with Windows 11 24H2. And there's a fix for the file systems where the update addresses an issue when the operating system stops unexpectedly an error message appears on a blue screen during normal usage with a user profile redirected to a network VHD, VHDX. And that's another blue screen that's been patched. And there's a fix for imaging where the update addresses an issue where some content pages with JPEG images were not displaying. And there's another known issue that's been fixed, which I posted on previously, where the update addresses an edge case issue where Windows alone doesn't work on devices with specific security features enabled preventing users from logging in with facial recognition or PIN. The issue was observed after performing a push button reset or reset this PC from settings. I also posted on that previously. And then the last one uh, is for Windows Update, which I'm happy to see. And this might apply with the next update. You might see this where the Windows Update settings page and the Start menu Power Button will now show an estimated time for how long your PC will be offline to install updates from Windows Update. And I think that's a nice small little UI tweak and a move in the right direction. And then if you do decide to install the update, if we just head to Winver just to get our latest build number, the About Windows menu for Windows 11 24H2, OS build is sitting on 26100.3915 after this update is being installed. So that's KB5055627, which is the latest optional update for Windows 11 24H2. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.